Good morning. It's Good News Friday. Right, so I want to talk about Canada, but first, the world of movies. Right, There's a Danish movie, and they had a press conference presenting the movie. Mikkelsen is there, you know, the Danish actor, quite famous guy. Very good actor, I think. And the director of the movie, they are there. And <laughs> there's a reporter. A reporter asks why there are only Danish actors in the movie. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, this is just too stupid. All right, why are there only Danish actors in the movie? And then he talks about lack of diversity. <laughs> and Mikkelsen, the actor, he bursts into laughter. And the director, he smiles politely. <laughs> and he says, well, first of all, it's a film that takes place in Denmark in the 1750s. <laughs> wow. That is great stuff. Uh, I'll post a link to this. Alright, so about Canada. You know, I want to talk about Mad Max. Max Bernier. Maxim Bernier. Right. Whenever I talk about him, this guy, uh, I get criticized. Because people want to get rid of Trudeau, of course. And they think that Pouliev is the only chance, and you shouldn't be talking about Mad Max. <laughs> well, I have to, because he's a good guy. You know, Mad Max is a great guy. I loved him from the very start. So he's a great guy. So he's been urging Canadians not to comply. Don't comply, he says. Well, this is what we need, of course. We need also politicians to say it, right? And it's good. It will encourage people not to comply. It says, that's what it says, don't comply with any mandates that may be forthcoming. He's also accusing the Conservative Party of lacking principles on this issue. And he tweeted, do, do not comply, capital letters. We can't go through that again. We are still recovering from the last time. This time we can't give them an inch. It's great. And he was asked, you know, sh people should refuse to be locked down again. Yeah, they certainly should. Non-violent civil disobedience is a perfectly legitimate means of opposing tyrannical government measures. That's right. Oh, he's been at these rallies too, Mad Max. The anti-lockdown rallies throughout 2021 and 2022. And he says this, I don't mean to fear monger, but it seems like a distinct possibility that we may be returning to Orwellian restrictions in the coming months. This guy is very aware of things. Well, that's what it looks like to me. You know? I just like the guy. And as I said, I just liked him from the very start. Great guy. It's so peculiar that he's a politician and they didn't get to him yet. <laughs> well, that's what I see. And about Canada, uh, you know, the Freedom Convoy. I really love Canada for, you know, for what you did with the Freedom Convoy. You, know, you can do this again, you can do more. It's very strong in Canada. Of course, you have the worst. <laughs> you have the worst PM I've ever seen, maybe. Oh, it's terrible, this guy, Trudeau. And you can do something, you know. You, sh you proved it already with this convoy, Freedom Convoy. It was just beautiful. And you inspired all of us. It's great. And yeah, this is the thing. Uh, you know, Tamara Leach, right, and Chris Barber. Uh, they were two of them who organized the Freedom Convoy. And they are on trial right now. Today, I think. 
and uh, f you know they are on trial for organizing a protest. Well, what can you say? Well, this is what I hear. I hope this is true. I hear that this trial will go very, very well. And I hope it's true. All right. Well, that's all. I wish you a great weekend. Be good.